Hola clase, buenos días. Uh, aquí estoy, es viernes, Friday, and I'm about ready to go home. Estoy muy emocionante. Uh, it's been a good week, and I'm looking forward to next week as well. Let's jump into our um, notas. Where did it go? There we go. Uh, you should... This is what you need to watch before you watch the story about Senor, it's labeled, um, Senor Walker tells a girl he is embarazada, which you'll find out what embarazada means. So you need out these notas, no? These notas here, you should have already gone through them if you weren't in class. It's pretty basic, you can go th walk your way through the um, PowerPoint that I'm going to post and copy and just kind of work, you work your way through it, it's pretty simple. You can just read along. So, we in class, we typically leave off right here. We put a line across right above where it says, Ojo. Right? So, we're moving forward with this. We already translated all of these into English. We followed the patterns. The patterns of Spanish are really, really important. Anything that ends in ario, like glosario and salario, vocabulario, those are the same thing as what they mean. Airy, right? So glossario changes to glossary. Vocabulario changes to vocabulary. No? It is all too easy. I'm telling you, Spanish really is pretty easy once you get to know it. There's a few parts that are difficult, but at the beginning, you, it's so simple to learn, and you just get more and more confident, and then you're able to tackle the, the parts that are a little bit harder. But it really is all too easy. Hay mucho más, mucho más, many, many more. Pero son muy básicos. They're so basic. Like well, I'm not even going to explain it to them. It's to you. Entonces, no los explico. There's a lot of other patterns and different things, but you know, you'll just, your brain will automatically know what they are. Okay? Uh, one of those, for, for ejemplo, is obvious cognates. Whenever you're unsure, you just take a guess. You add an O or an A to the end of the word, and oftentimes you are correcto. All these words here are perfect Spanish words, and we just added an O or an A. Acto, correcto, dialecto, producto, conflicto. I mean, ridiculous, easy, exacto, insecto. There are some limitations, though. You cannot say, I speak all Spanish -o. No, eso no, 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 no puedes. I speak all Spanish, it does not work. So there are some limitations, but I can't tell you how many times I was talking to somebody, I didn't know what the word was, and I just took the English word, and I added an O, or I added an A, and I'm like, oh, that actually works? That's the real word? Awesome. Okay, great. It's very useful. So, let's, take, let's continue taking notas. Uh, you should be filling this in. Again, anything that is in rojo, red, that means that you need to write it down. So, write down these two letters in their spots. Ojo, ojo, I, I, or really... What they're trying to say is, watch out. It's a common Spanish phrase that they write. Watch out. Z, or uh, zeta, Z, es pronunciado, S, en español. Right? Every time you see a Z word. So, like, zapato, zona, paz, eh, eh, incorrecto. It's pronounced zapato, zona, paz, luz, rezar, zoológico. Those all have S sounds to it. So that's just a little thing to help you out to speak properly. You basically never say the zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
um, control remoto, control remoto, remote control, no? Um, that's what I'm trying to get. I, I use that phrase all the time. So all these words here, I'm going to speak through them while you write them down so you can kind of hear them. It's a good idea if you really want to get good at Spanish, I would rewind and listen to me pronounce these at least two times, preferably three times. But I'll leave that up to you. So write these down on a piece of paper. Tío means uncle. By the way, tía, tía means aunt, right? So tío, tía. Amigo or amigos, friend or friends. Familia, that's easy enough. Family, right? Familia, family. Corazón, again that Z is an S sound. Corazón, heart. Muy bonita, very pretty. You'll also hear me say in the video, muy guapa, which means very pretty as well. Prima is cousin. Let me back up because you're about to do some senior Wooly. Um, I, if you say muy guapo, it means he is very handsome. Guapo. If it's guapa, it means pretty, beautiful, or um, you could say handsome as well. But we don't really use, we don't really describe women as being handsome. That's not a way we, we use it in English. But in Spanish, guapo, guapa, it works for either of the sexes. <coughs> and we have here, la casa de Jack. That's Jack's house. No? You'll hear me say that phrase in there. Pelo. Okay, I don't have any pelo, but pelo means hair. Dale, dale. I'm going to say that a million times in class. Whenever we play a game, I'm going to say, dale, dale, dale. Go, go, go. Me llamo James, is my name is James. Um, one thing I really want to make sure, you should not put S James. You never put me llamo S James. It's just simply me llamo and then whatever the name is. If you're using your name, you would just insert your name. Me llamo blank. Mucho gusto is nice to meet you. Oh, mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. I'm James. Me llamo James. Como te llamas? All that stuff, right? And escucha. In this context, in this story, that means she listens. She listens. Okay? Now, getting into false cognates. Oye. I keep getting emails. A false cognate. This is something to write down. Those are words that look like they mean something. Pero no. But they don't. Pause the video and write that down if you need to. They're simply words that look like it. Here's, some, uh, uh, here's a couple ejemplos. Remember, ejemplos. E-J-E-M-P-L-O. Example. Ejemplo. Right? Asistir does not mean to assist. Even though it looks like to assist, it actually means to attend. So, por ejemplo, if somebody asks you, like, oh, what are you going to do next week? Are you going to be working from home? You'd be like, no, yo voy a asistir la clase. I'm going to attend class, like, en persona, in person, which, oh, I'm so glad we're done with online learning. Kind of. I, I do not like online learning that much. Preguntar does not mean pregnant. It looks like it. It actually means to ask a question. These are false cognates. They look like something, but they're not. Molestar does not mean to molest. Now, it, it means to bother or to mess with somebody, but it, it actually does mean both. Okay, In the video, I think I do, I do use that phrase when I talk about molestar. No me molestes, don't bother me. It sounds very weird, but I promise it's, it depends on how you're using it. Grande means grand or large or, or big, right? Grande. Um, now that one, I mean, uh, the grand ballroom, that kind of means the big or the large ballroom, so it's kind of interchangeable, but, um, but it technically means large or big. And then it, oh, we'll come back to that one. Okay, so those are the false cognates. Now, go watch the story of me dancing, uh, or dancing, well, okay, I do dance a little bit. Um, I do want to give a couple notes about this. Number one, the video you're about to watch, um, it's my COVID. It, it, it was the first couple of weeks of COVID. It was me teaching my eighth grade 
class. So I speak a lot more Spanish in there than I typically would at the beginning of my other classes because they've been taking Spanish for a while. They are very good. So you'll hear some of the eighth graders talk. Um, remember, if you're used to doing homework with the TV on with while playing Xbox, while playing, don't. You cannot multitask very well. You cannot understand Spanish, a brand new language, while playing on your phone. So please, these are short videos, just stay completely focused on them. Um, and I think that's it. So, enjoy the video. Uh, no, like I kind of explained in the video, normally I would be using you, los estudiantes, as my actores. I would be pulling you up on stage, I'd be putting a goofy hat on you, and I would make you, I would make you act it out. I've done it for six years times four classes times two semesters. Somebody do the math and get back to me. I've done this skit many, many times. This is the first time I've done it with inanimate objects, and I haven't done it with students. So it's not quite as much fun, but it's the best we can do with this online stuff. So um, I think that's it. Enjoy, and as always, write me if you have any preguntas. Oh, now we know what preguntas means. Preguntas, questions. Now, I mean, I'm not saying to ask a question, but preguntas is questions. So, all right, chicos. Oh, and then at the end, you'll also get a chance to win a prize for um, the best arte, the best art. Adiós.